Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I'm gonna to be unboxing this really mysterious package that I can't get any bearing on where it's from, who it's from. Usually there's some indicator, but I have no idea with this one. So we're going to find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down in the description. Check out Patreon. We have a lot of fun there. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. <clears throat> uh, if there's anything in this package I can link, I will make sure that there are links down in the description. So you guys can check that out. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's a little knife. A buck. All right. And there is a note. Good deal. Okay. I, <laughs> I just well, had no idea what to expect. Okay. So, uh, what we have here? Ah, the buck 263 Highline. Yes, I will link this guy down in the description if I can. Um, what steel is this? Hmm. It just looked very not buck to me. And so I, I'm always curious about these weird, you know, I kind of, I guess it kind of feels like a budget knife. It feels like a steel frame lock. I don't know. Hang on one sec. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a $35 knife. Take it apart. Do whatever you want with it. It's been abused and a bit resharpened, never disassembled or anything. Screws are factory set. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. And then we have a whole bunch of specs here, which I'm actually going to let you guys take a look at and pause if you want to. There you go. D2 steel is what it says down in the bottom right-hand corner. So yeah, I will link this. Um, so the first thing I noticed is it's off-centered, but then he also said that he's been using and abusing it. I This is the second time I've handled a knife from Buck here lately that goes against my mental, <clears throat> like what I picture when I picture Buck, right? Obviously the Buck 110, but also a multitude of other traditional style fixed blade and folding knives. So this, uh, well, what we're looking at here is certainly not anything like, wow, super modern, super fresh, right? It's still a lot different than what I expect from Buck, right? We have a simple, um, I mean, this is still, a, it's a tight, it's a steel frame lock with overlays, G10 overlays. And we have some probably not titanium screws, probably steel screws with a heat finish that's been applied. Same with the backspacer. A decent looking pocket clip that you can only mount on the right hand side. No lock stick or anything like that. And truthfully, yeah, it's plenty smooth running on bearings. 35 bucks, huh? It's hard for me to argue with something like this at $35, right? Something that I really like is the fact that, you know, while it is a steel frame lock, which is kind of, eh, we have these overlays that give you a lot of uh, room for basically putting your fingers wherever you want on a slender body like this. Uh, the thing that I don't like about exposed frame locks is that when you're flipping them, you have to be careful about whether or not you're applying pressure to that lock bar. But with those overlays that sit over the top of the part of the frame lock, you don't have to worry about that too much. Truthfully, just, yeah, transitioning from left to right hand, putting my hands where they naturally go and flipping it results in a completely and totally convenient deployment. <laughs> to add some sauce to an otherwise simple thing, right? Um, no idea what this is for. The blade doesn't look bad. Can't really judge the edge because like he said, it's uh, it's been resharpened. It's a nice, uh, even tumbled finish on it. You know, it's like, this is this knife looks at first glance it's like it's a buck and it's a folding knife that's got some modern elements i bet i'm gonna find some issues with it you know what it's really not bad and it's a 35 dollars knife you have to like the cleaver style blades right oh okay. story time story time so normally on knives like this i say you know here's the thing it's a cleaver style blade so it doesn't really have a tip right now uh, I think everybody, I think most people know what I mean, right? What I mean is it does not have a traditional tip. The nose of the blade drops down to nearly this 90 degree angle area that is, it is the tip, right? Obviously it has a tip. It does not have a tip like this. I had a guy type me up a book of a comment 
he was like, it actually does have a tip. Oh my gosh. Like this knife, how can you not realize that it doesn't have a tip? Obviously the tip is just, I know that. Why, what makes you think that I didn't understand that? What I mean is, is that this blade shape does not have a tra traditional drop point tip. This is a cleaver style blade. So it has a totally different level of utility when you are trying to use the knife the way that you would if you need the tip to do tip things, right? Like puncture things. That's, it's different with this because this does not have the same type. Of, so when I say it doesn't have a tip, just so you know, I know that this is the tip. What I mean is it does not have a traditional knife tip. My goodness. Anyways, it's, <laughs> this, has, this has a tip-ish. It has kind of a tip. Um, anyways, this is an interesting knife. Um, you will definitely get a full comprehensive review of this thing. I will link this guy right down below if I can, as is the case uh, with all of my videos. Uh, if you decide to use my links, it absolutely helps me out. But if, but that's that's up to you, 100% up to you. They're right down in the description for your convenience. Thanks again to the uh, person who sent this in. Do they have Instagram? Let's check. Uh, Chase, thank you very much, Chase. No, no Instagram. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.